Okay, so we're staying at the Baymont. Uh, definitely gonna hit up some B-dubs, but I still need to get the mud flaps installed, which I think I forgot my drill because I'm gonna need to drill some holes so that it lines up right with where I need it. But yeah, I'm gonna get that done. I don't know what's going on with my eye. I woke up like it the other day. Doesn't hurt, itch or anything, just, I don't know, put some eye drops in it, but we'll see. I'm gonna get to work here about 500 and something dollars later. Here's my temporary setup for this rig. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so I got the passenger side one up. This one's almost done. If you tackle something like this, here's all I'm doing. I lined up the end there so it doesn't bump in over there. And then I'm just using a screwdriver. It comes with this plate. I mean, obviously this is for this, you know, style of flatbed or maybe other flatbeds are like it too, I don't know. But uh, jamming that through using the knife just to kind of trim out the hole and then boom bolting it up and that's it and we're done uh a guy from my hometown that got into rv transport from watching weekend trucking videos uh which is crazy but anyways he just picked up in middlebury he's gonna meet me here in elkhart and as long as b-dubs is still open we're gonna head over there and eat, and then I assume he's, you know, camping out in his truck. Uh, but I got a hotel room. One bed, not sharing. <laughs> All right, see you. Just finished orientation and <clears throat> I am in Goshen. Uh, had to stop, I didn't have to, but I was stopping at this Premier Signs, which that's kind of the back entrance, so that I can get these put on the little window metal things uh, because I'm not putting them on the truck, you know, the side or the windows. They're just only going to be on when I'm hauling campers. Uh, but they don't do magnets. I don't think that they wouldn't let you do magnets, but they don't give them out. Um, so yeah, stopping here. Uh, a guy said he got them from here. They're 50 bucks. I think he said the signs of times, it was 75. So this was a little closer from where orientation was. So yeah, stop here, get those, and I'll show you what they look like right now. And we are at the yard. I believe this is my guy. I'm gonna check the VIN and then do a walk around. One of the things you gotta do before you leave the yard is send them an email just saying, hey, you know, I'm leaving the yard. So yeah. I have got to tell you, it feels weird. Hooking up a just normal bumper pull setup. Uh, and one, like the size of this camper is insane. You know, whereas like 19 feet is the longest I'm typically hauling, and more so 16, 17, maybe 18 footers are are my goal when I'm looking at them. This thing's 36 or something. I a GVWR of like 9,000, 9,500. But yeah, I'm gonna get loaded up, took pictures. But yeah, and then I'm hitting the road, maybe uh, dropping in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I don't know, I gotta hurry up though, if that's the case. All right, see ya.
few moments later. All right, made our first mother truck and truck. Grand Rapids, Michigan, made it before four. So I'll head back. I'm gonna call dispatch after I get this unloaded. They may stop at 4.30, so it may work out, but all right, I gotta hurry. This is all new. Yeah, that's wild. And then that white car that you saw, that was. Turn right, then arrive at your destination. Arrived. Okay, we are picking up our Texas load. Well, the paperwork is in there. I think this is the gate and there's a combo in the in the info or in the in, in the binder. So, yeah. All right. Let me see if that's really it. A few moments later. Well, what do you know it? Second unit making great freaking time. And we got this, which, you know, it, duh, right up here. Uh, it, dent wise, you can see there's a little dent right here, but that's, I mean, it, it's really hard to see if that white line wasn't there, but that it's just hard to tell. Like it's gotta be paint from something else. But I tried to scrub it really just with some spit and <laughs> uh, shop rag. And then I tried some like window cleaner stuff I had just to see if I could get it to come off. But yeah, it's not coming off. So it's after hours. And I guess that means that I'm not hitting the road and utilizing the five to six hours of drive time I have left. Uh, and I would assume more than likely, you know, when I call in tomorrow, I'll send an email, I guess, tonight with the pictures. And then I'll call in and I assume they'd, I'd get on a different load. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna find out. Okay, so I called a teledoctor. So if you guys are ever on the road, um, maybe I should. I'm just kind of parked in the middle of the drive or whatever here. But uh, so I called a teledoctor. So it's like, dude, it's in the morning. It just seems like it gets just a little bit worse. I mean, it, it's been two days. So I was just like, you know, if a teledoctor would be available. Uh, it was 10 o'clock Eastern time. Then, you know what, fuck it. I'll try to give it a whirl and hopefully they can give a prescription and not just say, hey, go see a real doctor in person. I mean, they're real doctors, whatever. So I got in, it was like 11 o'clock when the tele thing came on. $75, teledoc was maybe the service. And it's like, yeah, you know, it looks like you got a, you know, infected eyelid. I'm going to give you some really strong antibiotics or something, a cream. So I got to apply it four times a day. He's like, you should notice a big reduction in 24 hours, but you know, it'll take up to a week, maybe uh, four to five days or something for it to totally go away. No clue how, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's worse today than it was yesterday. Doesn't hurt, just annoying. Uh, I mean, it's a little tender to touch it, but yeah, who knows, uh, four times a day, this little thing, only 15 bucks for this, but 75 for the call, uh, still a, a, a good solid option. It, again, if you're on the road and you know what, the doctor told me he was going to give me two tubes. They actually made me wait an hour. Uh, I was the first one there, like, ah, oh, could you? It just seemed like a real hot mess express in there. 
Uh, could you maybe give us an hour? I mean, we just opened. I understand you just opened. I waited until you opened. But they didn't open until nine. Went to the office uh, and I did everything correctly as far as the yard damage stuff, sending the emails and pictures and whatnot. And I got on a Denton, Texas load that I'm still dropping tomorrow. So uh, it's 10 o'clock right now, but yeah, we'll still drop tomorrow. Uh, I gotta go pick it up in Elkhart. Hopefully there's no damage on it. And then hit the road on a full day. Let's see. How the f are you supposed to put this in your eyeball? That's so weird. Uh, and you said roll your eye around with your as you get it under your lower eyelid or whatever. Like, how do you do that? I just can't wait for this to get better. COVID's in my eyeball. Ah. That feels weird. Right. <laughs> he said there was a pamphlet on how to do it to read, but he told me just put it in the lower part, close your eye, roll your eye around to try to get it all over in there. All right, uh, maybe I got a little bit of diesel in there too i'm gonna lose my whole eyeball uh so as i'm waiting for the hour from nine o'clock which if i would have known they opened at nine poor uh decision planning or decision making on my part with choosing this pharmacy i just knew it would be in route so i thought it'd be smart not knowing they opened at nine versus other ones that were seven or eight but so i went i was gonna actually just go get the camper and then come back well, I was like, I need fuel because I had a quarter of a tank and I'm not letting this get lower than a quarter of a tank, especially with it being the CP4 pump. But uh, it took me the whole hour to put 45 gallons in, which is a, puts me at full. There was still more room to, to be had. Uh, a full range on this tank, at least according to the computer on here is about was well, like 800 and something but then it actually if I remember right on my way back from Idaho it actually stopped at a certain number and I'm like dude I'm putting more in why is this you know range not going up but hopefully this will get me decently far into the trip and we'll see I think the guy lied to me about the fuel economy of this I averaged eight to nine miles a gallon going up to Grand Rapids. <sighs> Fucking A. Four times a day. Woo! Better go down dramatically. 24 hours. Uh, but he's like, yeah, hey, you know, it's about 12 to, to 14 loaded or unloaded. I'm like, all right, you know, that's that's not horrible you know with the old f-250 21 miles a gallon unloaded but about if i remember right like 11 loaded well eight to nine again one run 100 miles we'll see so this texas trip will give me a good indicator of how much uh, bs he filled me with which then, you know, it's like, why? Why don't? Why aren't you just honest? And come to think of it, let me go down to the trips. So it's got a trip A and a trip B, and it tells you the fuel economy. Well, I reset trip A on my way back from Idaho. That average so far is 11.6 miles a gallon. I've only had one loaded trip. Trip B has... Oh, that's cool. It keeps track of time and shit uh, and, and gallons used. It says 1,600 miles, but it's averaging 8.5 miles per gallon. 
yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go load up in Elkhart, hit the road, and get two trips in still by the end of the week. So that's it, guys. I'm going to log off right here. Now, I'm going to assume that they're going to send it, but as I'm walking around again actually taking photos, I just kind of look up at the ladder, and I almost didn't think anything of it thinking you know just kind of a glare to the sun or of the sun or whatever you see it right there we'll climb up but it's just right here here and there so just you know somebody at some point in time backed it up into something scraped it who knows who cares Maybe the ladder was like that when they installed it and it just missed some type of quality control check. But I'm gonna wait because I'm not going to get dinged for that. Uh, now, if this was IT haul and tow, I'd full send it. I wouldn't even call. I'd probably just break out the flat black spray paints, what it looks like. Um, yeah, never noticed. But playing by the rules, trying not to get uh, or trying not to have any issues. So yeah, we'll wait. I'll probably call them in about five minutes. I just sent the email, so we'll hang tight. <laughs> the treatment but it feels better uh, everything I read said you know hey give it two days yada yada but this is what happens if you forget cash when you're going through the Oklahoma turnpikes you gotta pull over go in well you don't even go in that one person comes out takes your card brings your receipt and yeah so we will drop today and make some good ugh, I don't know why I don't just take those guys off I just don't want to mess with them uh, but yeah we'll drop today I think we're three or four hours out and then hit the road back home Singapore style all right guys see you
see that or if you can even see me right now but that guy probably had better days he's kind of like shaking sitting there with his head down been there for a while there's another guy back somewhere where's my finger at somewhere over there that has a yoga mat a sack big gulp it's kind of lounging out in the grass right on the edge of the parking lot so i'm in tulsa at i think it's a flying jays uh but i'm not so sure i'm gonna stay here just seems a little sketchy and since i'm not in the hole and tow like you know i'm not i'm not gonna go over there and park where i feel like you have a little more like strength and trucker numbers of, of just like somebody f your stuff you know but yeah i think i'm gonna drive around one more time and then decide if i am finding a different location yeah okay quick update we are in kansas city got some more tie downs and some date night activities for the wife and i come tomorrow uh, we're going to work on the add-on that is still not done yet uh, yeah we're gonna do some ship lap boards up on the the vaulted ceiling we're gonna finish the office right now uh and then yeah i'll show you guys when we get it done or what we get done so other than that i'm gonna go to the back load that stuff up and 